All right, we're back at the Real Madrid career mode. So it hasn't been the best start to the series uh, that we would have wanted. In the last episode, we lost to Valencia. We drew with Barcelona, and then we also drew with Inter Milan. So our form is very shaky, but what it's holding us up is the Sim form. Because in Sim games, we're actually doing pretty good. But it still feels like something with this team is not exactly clicking as it should. So once again in this episode, we're going to try to figure it out. Maybe uh, maybe try some new things. And also, we're going to enter the January window in this episode and Carvajal is leaving so we need to sign a right back in this episode for sure and we're probably gonna have like 140 ish million to spend we're gonna try and be smart with our money so whatever players we sign we gotta try to get the best deals possible and uh, we also might try a new formation in this one as well so as always drop a like if you're enjoying the series you guys have been showing so much support on this series and i appreciate it so much and also subscribe to the channel if you have not all right in the last episode i asked you guys uh, how long do you think the series should be first comment of the day if the series needs to go for at least three seasons i saw a lot of comments saying they should go for three seasons or until we win the champions league but right now i think the plan is is going to be two to three seasons i think things could change but i think the plan is to do at least two seasons for this series but but things can change and uh, we'll see though. And the next one feels like Laporta is not so much uh, presence on the defensive line. He's playing bad. You should use Hernandez instead of him or try to buy a new center back. Yeah, I me, mean, he's definitely not played the best. Honestly, the whole defensive line has not played great. So we might try and we might try something this episode to change that without making a signing. I feel like we got to keep Laporte for at least this season. I feel like we're, we're not worrying too much about realism, but I don't want to have a player just for six months. If we sell him, it'll be in season two. We got to give him the full season to give him a chance. But I do have an idea in mind that we could try for the center back line. And last one, Cancelo is a better option than both right backs you mentioned. For center backs, I think Alaba is the problem. And uh, Pogba and Laporta are way too both, both too sluggish moving in FIFA. Yeah, I forgot about Cancelo because obviously he's right footed. So he's he's probably naturally a right back, but he's so good he can play on both sides. I did forget about him. So he is in the mix with uh, Trent, Reese James, Hakimi, and now Cancelo. We're probably going to pick one out of those four. And it's probably going to be the best deal we can get. we got to be smart with our money. I don't want to spend all our money on a fullback like preferably so we're gonna try to get the player that makes sense and the best deal possible out of those four i think and uh, now alaba he, he's good in this game he's, of course he's good but one stat that i saw that kind of makes me a little bit worried is the 78 strength like of course alaba played as a left back for a lot of his career he plays uh, he's played it as a midfielder and i mean if we we're looking at where our back line could be having problems 78 strength could be where that is also the uh, you guys mentioned that laporte and alaba are both left footed so that could be ruining the chemistry between the center backs too so like i said i have an idea i want to try in this episode which i mean if it works it could be like a, a little change that can make us a lot better without making any signing we also in this episode have this game against uh shaktar which uh that will decide who finishes second in our group so we could be knocked out of the champions league in this episode if we somehow lose that which i hopefully believe that we will not but there's a chance there is a chance we also got to let it come and draft for that so that's two big games and then a lot of transfer business uh and changes to go over I feel like we are gonna try and make some moves in this episode we're gonna try and make some moves try to so we are gonna try a formation change in this episode we're gonna try the four two three one wide i think maybe pulling valverde back alongside casemiro might give us more like stability in the midfield and then Pogba is playing as a cam, which could be his best role. Honestly, could be. And then Mbappe and Vinicius are both still playing as uh, right and left wingers. Now, the change I had in mind. So, like I said, Alaba, he's got he's got obviously really good stats. He's a good center back, but he's seven, now with 79 strength. When you compare it to Laporte 84 strength, it's like you can tell maybe as a center back, you kind of need more strength. Like the player I think about is Delict. We signed him in the Barca series and he had like 90 plus strength and he was so good at center back. We got a player here above above Alaba and Casemiro who's got 90 strength and I mean Casemiro like if we if we compare stats he's got 90 physical he's got a little bit better defending Alaba's better with pace passing and dribbling so the thing that kind of makes sense to me that I did not see before for some reason maybe I'm blind what if we just simply swap them Alaba plays in the midfield as a CDM and then Casemiro plays as a center back it might not look like a big change in the formation but I feel like in game it it just makes sense like Alaba is better technically and Casemiro more physical and better defending. Like, why would we not just flip them? That way, we have a right-footed center back in Casemiro, left-footed center back in Laporte. I also thought about playing Alba as a left back, and then me and Mendy could play CDM too. Like, look at his stats. He could 100% play in the midfield too. But I was thinking, if we could play Alba at left back, we could also buy a midfielder to uh to replace instead of buying a center back by a midfielder and just play Casemiro at center back but I really want to try Alaba at CDM I feel like his his stats look so good for a midfielder he's played there before I don't know why I didn't think of it and I mean Casemiro's got the better stats as a center back so we are going to try this I feel like it it might work it might work so the formation change and then that little change is the big changes we're going to try I do have a good feeling about that I do have a good feeling so Real Madrid Sevilla we are going to sim this one Sevilla are not a bad team but uh I still think we should beat them. It's gonna be a nil no draw. All right, they're pretty good. So that's not a that's not a horrible result. We got a lot of good sim sim results. So that's the one uh one 
blemish. And Casimiro is saying, I'm ready to do whatever is necessary to make us successful. Are you sure about that? Oh yeah, I completely forgot about our homegrown talent. He's just been sitting here for like four episodes. I completely forgot. Now, now I feel bad. Uh, let's make him a cam though. We're going to promote him, make him a cam, maybe loan him out or give him, uh, maybe give him time here and there. He doesn't look bad. He actually does not look that bad. He's six, six. So like the man is big. Uh, we'll put him on the loan list. I completely forgot about him though. All right. Next game is our associate dad. We are rotating a little bit because we do have that champions league game in a few days and that game is very important. So building kind of a rotated team, but still a two and win. So actually a pretty good result. And so this is the big game. So we got a one point lead on Shakhtar, so a draw would be enough. If we lose, though, we are out of the Champions League into the Europa League, which would be an absolute nightmare. So we just we just got to win this. We just got to win this. And we're going to try for the first time at least playing Alaba at CDM, Casemiro at center back. And I mean, if this works, this could impact our strategy in January when it comes to transfers and also trying the new uh, 4 2 3 1. This needs to be a draw or a win. If if we lose this, it will be the worst result in the world. Like, we'd be in the Europa League. In season one, after signing Holland Mbappe, it'd be so bad. We were up against it. And I'm scared of these sliders of what I'm about to see from the Shakhtar team. In this series, teams have been coming at us like like psychopaths. So, new formation, a little bit of change in the, in the player positions. Let's just get a win. We need to win so badly. I mean, Shakhtar are not a team that should give us too many problems. So, I feel like this should be a game. I want to shoot. I'm so like, I'm addicted to long shots. I like scoring a few in each episode because you I mean, hey, they're they're very nice to look at. I do take a little bit too many of them though. We got this insane team, but I'm still very just not confident in this team yet. Not built up the, the level of confidence that we need. That was actually deflected. It was actually a good cross because of the deflection. Just no one was there for it. Pogba to Mbappe in a decent spot. Carvajal. Carvajal. Can we find the ball? Oh, that's going to be a simple first goal of the episode. I like that. Carvajal is leaving in like four games, but uh, that was a good assist. And Valverde, who is already pretty much outgrowing Modric. I think Valverde is 85, Modric is 86. So he's almost already better than him. That was as simple as you like. That is a good start to this game. 14 minutes in, that is the best start to a game I think we've had, especially recently. This team of, this team of insane players just needs to start clicking. Alaba just kind of feels like that is the better player to play in the midfield. I got to say that Holland. Holland, we need a good shot. Oh, just dragged a little bit wide. That was a tough angle, though. I will admit that was a tough angle. And so far, it seems with the 4 2 3 1, we're kind of that extra midfielder alongside our CDM. Kind of feel like it just adds more like stability. And then uh, Mbappe and Vinicius are not so far forward, or they can kind of help out the team. The defense still needs to do their job, though. Oh, these skill moves. Okay, that was terrible. That was terrible. Alaba, good tackle. We not concede after this good start. We're going to concede. That was just so bad for me. Why did I go in for the tackle there? I bit at that little movement that whoever this player has made. I thought my defending got a lot better on competitor mode, but it literally is not. I bit for that little move there, and he just goes back to the left and shoots and scores. Oh, it's just irritating. It is very irritating. Why am I so bad defending in this series? This was way worse than the United series, and that was pretty bad. That was, I can't blame anyone. I can't blame anyone other than myself for that. This, uh, this series, we're in episode four, and this series has ruined all my confidence playing this game that's exactly how it feels I'm, and i'm i'm using like insane players too vinicius we need to cut inside here good touch and it's right off the defender's face corner swung in and that is at holland man did they like nerf the headers from corners or something i feel like they nerfed them in the, in the recent update my headers have no power on them at all anymore all right second half begins uh one one this would be good enough for us to go through but i would not be happy with that we should be beating this team at least by a goal. Pogba, Pogba is really just like invisible in this series. He really does not do much for us at all. Vinicius, Vinicius. I'm just trying to get a very good angle at the goal. Holland, you got to finish that. Pogba, finish that. Was that actually off? That was off his head. How is that so bad? Oh, it's, it's, it's just all against us in the series. It is all against us. We got 30 minutes. We're, we're putting ourselves in a very dangerous spot where we could concede just one little fluke goal to knock us out of the Champions League. I think that was deflected. It's in the net and I'm happy about it, but I think that was deflected. Okay, so that removes that dangerous spot. So they could score two or they could score one and we'd still be going through. This was this was definitely deflected though. It was a, yeah, that's a big deflection. Okay, that was uh, the football gods giving us a little bit of fortune there for our troubles. And uh, we 
absolutely needed it. I feel like the problem is, is that we're just not keeping the ball well. We're letting the other team get so much possession. I don't know why we're, we're struggling with this team. I usually do like an okay job of that, but... All right, Mbappe, that's a good first touch. It's a good second touch. Mbappe, there is the clinical attack that we need to see. 3-1, that should confirm us at least staying in the Champions League. Finishing second, so we're probably going to get a tough team in the round of 16, but that is a very positive attack that I like to see. We have these great players, like they need to click together and they need to use their individual brilliance, score goals, and that is exactly what Mbappe just did. Okay, it looks like we avoid absolute disaster. If we would have got knocked out of the Champions League into the Europa League, I would have been... I would have been so upset. That would literally ruin the series. Wouldn't ruin it, but man, that'd be a... That'd be just a horrible storyline that I did not want to experience. So thankfully, it looks like we're getting the job done. All right, 10 minutes left. Some players coming off. Uh, Rafinha's coming on. Modric coming on. And also Gareth Bale coming on. Modric almost has an instant impact. What was that pass? I'm not going to not gonna question it. Rafinha. Rafinha needs to be in goal. Give it to Bale. Give it to Bale. Okay, that's actually better. That's better. Goes to Vinicius. And this is 4-1. When we needed a convincing win... I think we got it. Honestly, it's not felt like the cleanest of wins, but maybe we can use this as a stepping stone in the right direction. We got Atletico Madrid coming up after this, which uh, that's going to be a very, very big game and a big test too. So this is a good stepping stone. I feel like uh, the Alaba Casemiro switch has uh, been decent. I don't know if I've seen a whole lot of defending to really judge it other than my one mistake, which I don't blame Casemiro. I 100% blame yours truly for that. That was a good tackle by Alaba though. And Vinicius was kind of in there, and I just waited way too long. We get one more goal just for the confidence. Does not look like we will. But, I mean, 4-1, that was a win that we desperately needed, and we got it. It wasn't pretty. wasn't the cleanest, but it's still a win, and we're through to the round of 16 in the Champions League. All right, so right after that, we got Atletico Madrid, which uh, they're in fourth, and we're actually sitting in first. Barcelona have uh, had a lot of bad results. They were 9-0. Oh. Now they're 11-4-1. So they lost to Real Betis. Um, yeah, that's not a good loss. So we're actually sitting in first. It's actually pretty good. Very good considering our form. But we got Atletico Madrid. Up next, another another big test. And I think we just stick with the same lineup. Maybe Modric for Pogba in that cam spot. To uh, I'm going to try that. Pogba has just been very, very disappointing in the series. Like, so disappointing. I want to try uh, I want to try Modric there, though. So big test against a good team in Atletico Madrid. All right, the Madrid Derby. So we got the job done against Jaktar. Wasn't the best though. This is a much bigger test. Need to see gradual improvement. A pass like that is not. I think this is going to be our last time using Carvajal too. Because uh, I think we're going to sim the final two games of the month, I think. And then enter the January transfer window. So Carvajal, this is your send off. I hope you have a good game. Before you head to uh, Juventus. Which honestly, it's a pretty good move for him. Hey Carvajal, that's that's the kind of tackling that I want to see from you. Alaba gets into Modric. Okay, Modric. He feels way better on the ball compared to, uh, oh, that, that that was executed so badly. But he feels way better better on the ball like than Pogba. Pogba just feels so like like the the comment in the press conference said, very very sluggish. That shot is gonna be blocked. Can't even speak English. I think Luis Suarez and Mbappe are the two uh, highest goal scorers in the league right now. So it's also a matchup of that. Holland, get it to Vinicius. Okay, at least we keep it. Holland, we need to go back to Modric that's actually Modric and that's a good room for a shot and all black is going to save it these corners have been so bad in the series it actually hurts but that this something oh it's gonna go back to the keeper I hate corners I'm never taking corners ever again I'm hitting this because I feel I feel like it that was Laporte that was Laporte what a shot that was actually amazing okay good vibes good vibes in that corner nope I still absolutely, absolutely hate corners. Alaba, I should have just shot with Alaba. Why didn't I do that? I should have just shot with Alaba. He has a good shot. Why did I not shoot with him? All right, Mendy. We got options. We got a lot of options. Holland. That is a terrible pass. I will not take the blame for that one. I will not take it. Okay, Rodrigo to Paul, who's a very good player. That's going to go to Suarez. Courtois makes himself big, and that's a good save. Courtois is not, I don't know, I'm not confident in him. If he continues to play bad, like season two, he might be gone. So he needs to, I just need to see something better from him. He's a good keeper in game. It's just like, why is he, why is he so bad for me? Suarez goes back to Herrera. Defending 
That's better defending. I like it. All right, ball to Alaba. I feel like we've kind of started this game better, actually. It's it's nice to see. Alaba is making a very good run. How does that pass just right at Koke, though? What has this series done to me? Modric to Erling Holland. Oh, I, I definitely wanted that to go to Modric, not all the way to Vinicius. Man, that first half act actually just flew by. Still nil-nil. This feels like a weird game. Like, it feels like it's still pretty even. Can we find a goal? We haven't really had, like, a decent chance since the beginning of the game. Okay, Holland, I kind of need you to go and run after that, but Vinicius, what did Vinicius just do? I didn't press anything. What did he just do? He just went to the, he went, he did like a side swipe. I didn't even press anything. What, what am I seeing from this game right now? In this series, like, I don't know. I, I was like, I don't know what this series has done to me. I don't know. I don't know what that was. All right, Mbappe. Holland's making a decent run. Gonna do a little give and go. That ball was meant for Mbappe. Goes to Holland though. Holland with room. Holland is literally only scoring long shots in this series, but who cares? He's scoring. 60th minute, 1-0. It's been very hard to work for. They just kind of gave him room though. Literally Holland only scores long shots. That's a lot of room to give Erling Holland in this game especially. And it didn't even feel like, okay, it's actually a good hit. I thought I thought Oblak might have like had a mistake there, but it was actually a pretty good uh, spot in the goal to shoot it at. Okay. 1-0. Can we hold this defense? I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to jinx it. Never mind. Not going to jinx it. Okay, Suarez. Okay, what is that? What is that? Alaba. Alaba. That is a great challenge that could have probably just prevented a goal. Now we are going to spring. Spring. Spring is coming. And Holland to Modric. We do not score. We should have really just put this game to bed there. 73rd minute. We really should have put this game to bed. But they're going for it. And Mbappe's got the pace. He's got the pace. He's got Vinicius for a post. Vinicius. Oh, Vinicius can head the ball. No one else on this team can can head the ball right. Vinicius can, though. Okay, this might turn into actually a, a pretty good win. I thought we messed this up a little bit. I thought we messed it up. We just didn't, though. Vinicius, he can head the ball. He needs to be a target for corners. All right, subs on. Players getting rest. Uh, Martinelli's on. Camavinga's on. Who else did I bring? Oh, Pogba for Modric. Yeah, Modric not the best game at Cam. I feel like that's a perfect role for Pogba. I just don't know why he's not like uh, not. He doesn't. He's not. He's not utilizing it. He's not taking advantage of it. He's pressing though. Oh, Pogba is showing some energy today off the bench. He gets benched and he does not like it. Maybe that'll spark a uh, a change in him. That's the worst throw in I have ever seen in my life. Will you not make a mistake and just let them score an easy goal though? That'd be nice. As soon as I say that, we make a mistake. Also, Carvajal, very solid in his final uh, appearance for us, at least in a played game. Very, very decent performance. Martinelli, what do you got? What do you got? Pogba is actually making a good run. We're going to try to lift it to Mbappe. We lift it. And why did Mbappe take an extra touch there? That should have been 3-0. It's a good ball to Llorente. That's a good ball in. Carvajal, I need you to sacrifice your body in this last game. Sacrifice it sacrifice it that's a terrible cross i will take that can we actually keep a clean sheet we're going to keep a clean sheet i am so happy about that again i mean it's against a good team so i mean it's still it's a good win wasn't the cleanest once again but that's two wins in this episode all right final game of december against cadiz i mean we should be able to beat cadiz we should be able to and we do 5-1 vinicius rafinha vinicius vinicius and vinicius vinicius scores four against Cadiz and also our homegrown talent is going to be loaned out to Lille for the rest of the season and now we enter the January transfer window I'm very curious to see what our budget is after Carvajal leaves so officially in January and we're sitting in first which is pretty good so yeah Luka Modric's contract is expiring I think we just might let it expire and he can he can maybe join a free team if he wants to I feel like that's the that's the game plan we're gonna go with uh with Luka Modric and we have about probably 150-ish. That's a decent amount. But I'm not sure I want to spend all of that on a fullback. So we got to be smart with our money. And Carvajal is gone. He has gone off to Juventus. So we need a new right back. So the options are Reese James for 58 to 82. Akimi 109 to 158. Trent 138 to 196. And then Cancelo for 97 to 138. If we can get Cancelo... His value is 77. If we can get him, he'd probably be the best. I feel like Reese James might be a downgrade from Carvajal. I might go in for each one of them and just see what each team wants. And we can, we can compare it more accurately like that. Let's try Akimi for 95 million plus 
143. That is indeed a lot of cash. Not sure I want to do that that much for a fullback, but I mean, if we have to, we might have to because we already sold Carval. They might do 120. They might do that, which I mean, we'd still have a little bit of money left, but that'd be a big chunk of it for Hakimi and they accept 120. Okay, let's try Trent. He, he's probably going to be more expensive. I'm just going to do his value and 15%. Probably gonna want like 150 for him. 184. Yeah, we can't even afford that. 150 is probably the highest we can go. And they accept 150. 150 though, that's like, how much is that? 30 million more than Akimi? I mean, Trent is the better right back, but honestly, Cancelo might be the better player out of all of them. And looking at the price there, he might actually be the cheapest. So he's valued at 77. For 90 million, I would 100% do that. So we're gonna we're gonna send this offer kind of highballing it. 88, 88 million. I kind of feel like we have a good chance on this deal though. 88 million for Cancelo. Say low. 126. Okay, he still might be cheaper though. He still might be cheaper than both of them. 105, 115. It's at least cheaper than Hakimi. 110. 110 for Cancelo, and they accept. So 120 for Hakimi, 110 for Cancelo, and 150 for Trent. I mean, I really don't know. All three would be great pickups. Like, there's not a bad option here. And I saw all three kind of equally in the comments. And the money situation, Cancelo is the best deal. I mean, Akimi's defending stats aren't, aren't actually that good. 78 stand tackle, 77 slide tackle. Whereas Cancelo's, he's got 84 stand tackle and he's got uh, he's got good pace too. And then Trent. Trent has better tackling than Akimi. Is that true in real life? I mean, I'm a Liverpool fan and I'm not sure Trent's defending is better than Akimi's. I'm honestly not sure. I don't watch a lot of Hakimi though. Damn, my gut is telling me Cancelo. It's... It's 40 million less than Trent. And then I feel like it's just the better deal. And it's kind of the best player possible. He's got great pace, great technical stats, good defending stats. And what we also could do is we could play him as a right back for this season. And then maybe season two, we move Cancelo to left back. And then Hakimi comes in a right back. That could be something we do too. But I'm going with my gut. And Cancelo is the player we're going to go after. So Zhao Cancelo has joined Real Madrid. I feel like that just made the most sense to be honest. So he'll get the number two and we're gonna make him a right back. But like I said, there's always the potential possibility of going back to left back and then buying a new right back too. His stats look so good though. So I'm very excited about that. It was a lot of money though. It was kind of more than I was hoping we'd spend, but it's a big upgrade for the, the defense, I think. All right, first game with Cancelo is gonna be, who is this against? I didn't even see. Itafe. And it's 2-1, Holland and Mbappe both Scoring. All right, Man United have approached uh, Luka Modric. I mean, should we try and just uh, get a little bit of money for Modric? Like, I'm not sure. He can only get us like 27.5. I don't think we can make that impactful of a signing with that, which up we'd be up to 60 million. Also, I think going forward, we're going to make Alaba a CDM if we can. Yeah, we actually can two weeks. And we're going to make Casemiro a center back. I feel like going forward, it just makes so much sense to just switch them or flip them, both of them. So we're going to do that. And uh, that does kind of mean we don't need a center back in uh, January. I'm comfortable with Laporte and Casemiro being the pairing. And we got Cancelo in there. We got Alaba in there. I wonder if his rating will go up as a center back or a CDM. Probably not. It'll probably stay 85. But other than that, I'm not sure what else to do in January, to be honest. Yep, we're going to let uh, Luka Modric's contract just expire, though. He's going to May United. So he'll be with us for the rest of the season. And then he will leave. Uh, Gareth Bale, I don't, same with Modric. I don't think it's uh, worth it to sign or to sell him at this point. I mean, what else do we think this team needs? Like, this team looks really good. Pogba is... I don't know. He's just not really clicking. If we bought like a really good cam, that would be a pretty good signing, even though we got we don't got a whole lot of money for a player like that. That's super impactful. Like uh, a Bernardo Silva signing to play that cam spot would be uh would be pretty, pretty damn good. I kind of wanted to see how much they want for him. Just uh just to see. I mean, could we offer we can actually offer Pogba in a swap offer him to Man City, though? I mean, this area isn't realistic, but I feel like that is pretty out there. That's even going further. I don't really have anyone else, though to really offer in a swap deal that I'd want to give up. Like Pogba is the only one I would consider. Raheem maybe, even though I do kind of want to use him. You know what, let's let's try Pogba for Bernardo. This is so weird, this is so wrong. Pogba plus 15 million for Bernardo Silva. Pogba plus 29.2. Okay, that's kind of doable. Or sending Pogba to Man City, that's so wrong. It feels so wrong. But I mean, hey, that's a very, very big move in January. And they accept 25 million plus Pogba for Bernardo Silva. I mean, his stats do look really good. I'm not sure if we should do that though, honestly. I am not sure. Damn, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna need your guys' feedback in the comments about that before we decide on that. I mean, he'd be he'd be so good in this camp spot and Pogba just hasn't really performed. And I know I said we're not gonna sell Laporte because he's only been here for six months and we might do it at Pogba, but I feel like uh, I feel like Laporte's been better than Pogba. And I didn't think they'd accept that. Like Pogba for Bernardo Silva could be a game-changing move for this team. So I think, 
we might end the episode here and you guys let me know in the comments for the next episode should we do that swap deal with uh with bernardo silva for pogba man that's a that's a big move that is a large move extra large i mean he's the same rating but i think uh, i think we'd agree that he's better going forward in that cam spot than pogba would be that's a tough one though that's a very tough one so you guys let me know in the comments we will decide this in the next episode so let me know in the comments should we swap pogba for bernardo silva that is an absolutely huge move and it could be a game-changing move for uh for this team this season also in the comments let me know any other players you think we should go after i mean if we did the bernardo silva deal we'd have probably like what 20 million ish to spend so that might be we might be able to make one more move in this transfer window other than signing Cancelo. so should that be pogba should we go after another player who's like bernardo silva who's a cam you guys let me know in the comments i i need you to let me know in the comments so ending this episode sitting in first with a two point lead so despite some shaky results our sim form has held us up still though very close to barcelona it looks like it's going to be a real madrid barcelona title race which is pretty much exactly what we want it to be so is the round of 16 set the round of 16 is it set it is and we're facing liverpool in the round of 16. oh that makes me nervous that does make me nervous i mean we finished second in the group we were always going to get a pretty tough team i would have loved to get lil that would have been perfect there's some big matches though psg chelsea united barcelona atletico madrid Borussia dortmund there are some very big matchups and real madrid liverpool the repeat of a uh, previous champions league final is going to be very big so that will be in the next episode along with the bernardo silva decision man that's that's going to be insanely tough, especially with how we've been playing. I don't have a lot of confidence for that game, but once again, let me know in the comments. Bernardo Silva, other players you think we should go after in this window? That potential Bernardo Silva deal is huge. And I'm honestly still unsure if we should do it or not. I'm curious to what you guys think. Drop the comments down below. Um, Drop a like if you enjoyed the episode. I'd appreciate it so much. Also, subscribe to the channel if you have not. And I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you have a great day.